fight is about to seal the ring here. What we've got here is another five by three minute round. Super lightweight. Super lightweight division bout here. In the blue corner, we have Nathan Embleton. And he's fighting out of aggressive Thai boxing. And he's up against Eddie Guva in the red corner. Trained by the team at Riddler's Gym. We've seen a bunch of Riddler's fighters here tonight. They've done quite well for himself too. Looking forward to seeing what Eddie Duva is going to bring to the table here tonight. There's a lot of fights between both competitors. Nathan Embleton's had 14 fights, 9 wins, 4 losses. Whereas Eddie Duva's had 25 fights with 15 wins, 9 losses and 1 draw as well. We've got seasoned veterans here with many fights under their belt. Both very experienced, both looking very calm. Right here live on livecombatsports.com. And this bout is going to be brought to you by Q-Bars. Q-Bars are uh, managing the bar here tonight. But uh, you can also check them out and about. You can hire them as well. Look them up at qbars.com.au. They're your one-stop shop for functions, parties, weddings, and events, providing mobile bars, beverages, catering packages, and bartender hire as well to make your event one to remember. Crowd in attendance here at the Curtin Stadium. Getting very excited for this one. The dreaded one, they call him Nathan Embleton. He's going to be fighting out of the blue corner. And Eddie Duva out of the red. Going to their corners for the final word now before they get stuck into it. here at Muay Thai Grand Prix. Still got some good ones to come, including the WBC Light Heavyweight World Title. Fighters are now ready, making their way to the center of the ring. Okay, here we go. Whoa. The dreaded one coming out fierce out of the gate, but uh, Hoover's bringing the power too. Grappling here. Dude, we've got the back of Nathan there. Ooh. Nathan just swinging like crazy right here in front of our commentary position. Eddie Dude, we're locking it up now. Three breaks him up, but straight back into it they go. Eddie managed to uh, land an elbow. Spinning back fist there by Nathan as well. Eddie Duva very, very strong on his feet. Both guys are just going hell for leather in this first round here. The crowd is very appreciative as well. Oh, big swing right there by Nathan. Eddie Duva with a nice low kick there. in faking him out. Ooh, big hard shot. Some wicked offense and a big right by Eddie Duva. Ooh, and again. Oh, the dreaded one now goes to the clinch and the knees, but Eddie Duva gets out of that. Oh, just wears a big right hand, does Eddie. And what now? Taking a step back, but he's ready to charge straight back in. These guys are looking fierce, and it's only the first round. Oh, another big shot by the dreaded one. Of course, the uh, long limbs of Nathan Embleton Ooh, being put into effect, but Eddie Duva, oh, just throwing out the rights as well. Here we go, low leg kick there. 
Wow. Here we go. The dreaded one. Ready to throw those heavy fists. Oh, Eddie Duba. That was a beautiful right hand. Good evasion there by Eddie Duba. Gonna take a step back and compose himself and charges straight back in. The ebbs and flows of this one. Uh, that wraps up round number one, brought to you by Cubars. Look them up at cubars.com.au. And uh, we have someone joining me on the call now. How are you doing, mate? Good. How are you? I'm very good, mate. Uh, for those playing along at home, it's Adam Bailey here. Uh, what did you think of that first round? Bit of a wild one. Crazy, uh, as is always the case um, when Nathan Embleton takes centre ring. Yeah, they call him the dreaded one, and I can see why. Wow, he just threw out some vicious shots there. But I tell you what, Eddie Duba stood his ground and dished out his fair amount of punishment. Lots of hard-hitting excitement that uh, you know the crowd just loves to see. That's it. And a good warm-up. Uh, not the most of technical bouts we're going to see for, for this one, but it will be a barn burner, that's for sure. That's right. It's uh, five three-minute rounds to this super lightweight bout. Both men sitting about the 63.5 kilo mark. I think Eddie came in a little bit over uh, at the weigh which is unlike him, so I'm not sure if there's maybe a bit of illness to play in that. Uh, I've never seen him not make weight before. It is that time of the year, I guess. We've got the aggressive Thai boxing team attending to the dreaded one. The team of Riddler's Jim looking after Eddie Duva. Two great gyms dishing out two quality fighters. Here at Muay Thai Grand Prix. Boys are up. Whistle's gone. Here we go. Time for round number two. We're on. Here we go. Center ring. Strong guard from Duva. Embleton wow. comes. Mauling in with those straight punches as his corner goes absolutely bonkers just to my left. Yeah, they sure do, and rightfully so. <laughs> Quality flurry there by the dreaded one. Oh, charges in. Punch. Superman punch, don't see too many of those. Boys clinch up, swinging knees from Duber, he tries the hip throw, doesn't quite get him down. Almost, almost. You see Duber's uh, attempt at taking that inside leg out as uh, Embleton stalks forward. Tricky's been working on. Yeah, ooh. Ooh. Elbow for elbow. Rolling oh, right hand there by Eddie Duva. Duva does well to frame off. Little miss there from Duva as the boys tangle. Goes for the hip throw again. Manages to get the job done that time. Nathan's back on his feet. Back swinging. Boys clinch up in the red corner. Referee will break him. Roy Wills, man in center ring. Very good. Oh! Oh! Man hit. That right hand's working a treat for Duva. Spinning back elbow. Boys clinch. Neutral corner, not much happening. Referee calls him back. I tell you what, Embleton's thrown out a lot, but Duva just takes it and keeps moving. This man's like some sort of machine. Great punches, spinning back. Windscreen wiper punch from the blue corner, slapping left kick to the body. Embleton stalks forward as the usual. Cleaner shots from Duva for my liking this round. Yeah, definitely, but Embleton's not letting up. Slapping right hand behind the ear as Embleton falls to the canvas. The one thing we've got to look for in a close fight is, is which boxer can keep his feet. 
and the danger is going to be for Embleton launching himself at these attacks. And Duva's just a little bit too slick. These takedowns will come. Yeah. Shopping kicks from Duva doing the business. Yeah, Duva's very well grounded. He's got great, solid foot game. Very locked onto the floor. Ooh. That right hand's coming very close behind the uh, spinning back fist from Embleton, but lands himself in the corner. See that leg's a little bit damaged now of Embleton as he wobbles back. That looks like the key to uh, maybe a bit of success from Duva. Sucking in the big ones now is Embleton. Rarely see him on his back foot. Right hand just whistles past the ear again. Swing and a miss. Oh, right hand. Plays it back with interest. The boys tangle. Oh, oh. Punch oh, the punch. big shot. What a round. What a second round. That crowd gotta, absolutely loves it. I've got to give that round to Duba. The stylings of the dreaded one, unlike that I've seen before. It's uh, really something. Oh, that second round brought to you by Q-Bars, of course. They're uh, managing the bar here tonight. Uh, they're your one-stop shop for functions, parties, weddings, and events, providing mobile bars. Uh, and beverage and catering packages, bartender hire to make your event one for a member. Look them up at qbars.com.au. Man, that was a barn burner. What a round, what a round. Yeah. Uh, I think I've got to give that one uh, to Duva myself, and this is, we're, we're judging Muay Thai, and that was um, the execution of the Muay Thai techniques from Duva to weather the storm, and um, that, that chopping low kicks working for me, a couple of takedowns, I think, in that round. Yeah, Duva definitely has a, a, a more grounded uh, way about himself. Emberton, though, he's got those long limbs and he just throws them so wildly. It's, uh, <laughs> it's definitely a sight to see. It's, it's very enjoyable. The crowd loves it, too. Mm, mm. The but, right, uh, right hand is the danger, though, from, from Embleton. He's landed that shot just behind Duva's left ear on a few occasions. Yeah, he sure has. It's going to be interesting to see how things go getting stuck into this uh, third round as we're about to get into, just how the conditioning goes. The boys are up and ready, waiting for the whistle. Wills checks the mouth guards. Ready to pounce, he's Embleton. Yes. Superman or something coming. Just see him oh. waiting in the wings, ready to there charge. There you go, he caught it. <laughs> Good call, Adam Paley. <laughs> oh, nice elbow shot there Loving by Nathan as well. Got to be careful of uh, locking up on those ropes because Embleton is a charges in the game with that elbow just missing the mark. The leadage to my left going bananas. I'll tell you what, Nathan Embleton comes from the... Oh! And, and it's those that, that are instability that can bring him undone in a second. Unfortunately, he does a lot of hard work as Embleton. But uh, that takedown, that staunch approach from Duva, is going to pay dividends on the scorecards in mind. Hooks, clubbing right hand behind the ear again as he eats a knee. Straight after, Duva has a look, wheels around, swing and a miss. Back in the centre of the ring now. Duva's still very grounded on his feet. Very, very sturdy and solid, but Embleton's just still swinging at him. Oh, there you go, knee too. This is probably the most I've seen, uh, surprisingly, as this rolls out of my mouth, is that the le less I've seen Embleton move forward in his previous fights. His corner's calling him on, asking why he's, he's not pressing the action. Duva commanding centre ring, inside thigh kick. Looks like he's, uh, he's gassing a little bit, does Embleton now. Backward steps. Breathing a little bit heavier. Swings from the fences to Zembleton. Yeah, he does. It's, uh... Whoa. it's just that, that clubbing right hand is a danger. But yeah. With the instability in his footwork, I don't think there's going to be a hell of a lot of mustard behind it. Looks like he's, uh, he's taking a backward step to Zembleton. Here comes Duva cutting the ring off well. Pressure by presence. Chopping inside thigh kick from Duva. This is better stuff now. Taking this round as well. 
This could be the beginning of the end for Embleton. Has he finished that leg off? That back leg is in trouble. Chopping him down. Crossing right hook. Can he get that count? He holds the ropes. This might be all over. Hoover is smelling Here comes blood Hoover. in the water. Oh, he's out. It's a count. That's a count. Good boy. The freight train has been stopped. Wow, eh? The right leg of Nathan Embleton and can he finish it off? He's got some time up his sleeve. 33 seconds left in the end of the round. Do Doom has got himself a target now. You know he's just going to go at it. Oh, he's taken it. Embleton's trying to keep his distance. He's in some strife here. A bit of Barney sure Rubble. Is. Back foot. Ooh. Couple more and this is done. Ooh. Couple more and this is done. Oh, he's on one foot. 12 seconds yeah. left. Can he chop it down? And the push in the back. Doom is at it. He's saved by the bell. Three, two. Oh, there we go. There we go, 10-8. There we go. Well, that wraps up around number three. All thanks to Q-Bars. We are seeing quite the turn of events. I was going to say earlier, uh, Nathan Embleton, the dreaded one, fights out of aggressive Thai boxing. And... Uh, Aggressive by name and aggressive by nature, but Eddie Duva, he's the uh, one looking good at the end of this one. He's done some serious damage to the uh, to the leg of Embleton there. Fantastic round from Duva. Um, yeah, it's it's, a, it's the first time I've seen Embleton take a backward step in any of his any of his fights. Um, he does fight very regularly. I'm not sure if he's carrying an injury from from his last bout, but that's nothing to take away from Duva. Yeah. The interesting thing is that his left leg seems to be bleeding a little bit just above the knee, but it's the right leg that's got the damage. Uh, in his corner, they're uh, adding plenty of ice to it. Is that back leg, you know, if, if it, it doesn't see a lot of action back there. The front leg's the one that cops all the, you know, the low kicks in training and the, and the conditioning's there. Get a couple on that back, uh, on that back quad and go to sleep pretty quick. And Eddie Duva, like I said, he's a uh, very solid... In his, in his footing, very well grounded and very thick legs as well. Those those legs are going to be uh, clearly doing some solid damage there. Oh, little tree trunks. I was going to say tree trunks, but there <laughs> you go. <laughs> Read my mind, Adam. Round four of five, the championship round. This is where the fights are won and lost. That's right. Two more rounds to go. Feel like a very, very long time for the dreaded one if that leg is as bad as it may seem. It's um here we go, three minutes of action. Can Embleton make it through? Surely Juve is gonna come straight out looking for that leg. There you go. Yeah, it's He's all right. First over. bit off this is down He's here. hobbling. This is down here. Yeah. He smells blood. Yep. Duva is going absolutely bananas. It. And it's waved off. Unbelievable. There you go. Great show of sportsmanship there. It's what you love to see. Eddie Duva gets the victory. Nicely done there. Look at disappointment on the face of Embleton, but you can't walk, you can't fight. Oh, that's exactly right. It was a great spectacle and the crowd had a great time witnessing what we did see. All thanks to QBars. Look them up, qbars.com.au. But at the end of the day, Eddie Duvar gets the win. Gets stopped in the fourth round. Listen to that ovation.